Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 17 and the next beta, iOS 17 beta 3. I want to talk about the expected release date. I want to talk about some of the upcoming features, bug fixes. I did ask you guys over on Twitter, are you having any issues with beta 2? And you guys had a lot to say. Over 300 comments and issues were reported, and I wanted to talk about that. Hopefully, Apple will address a lot of these issues with the next beta. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date, with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. So the first thing I want to talk about is some of the bugs. Of course, a lot of you guys have a lot to say when it comes to bugs and issues in beta 2, and hopefully Apple will address a lot of this stuff in beta 3. And I want to start off with the keyboard. A lot of you guys continue to report keyboard lag. The keyboard pops in and out. It disappears. And a lot of issues continue to be reported with the keyboard in iOS. Now, I have to say I haven't encountered any major issues with the keyboard in beta 2. I did have a lot of issues in the first beta, but a lot of you guys continue to report a lot of issues with the keyboard especially a lot of lag when typing on the keyboard in beta 2 so hopefully we'll see this being addressed in beta 3 now spotlight there was also an issue initially when i started uh, using beta 2 where some of the information would overlap the keyboard however after a couple of days it sort of fixed itself which was sort of interesting to see right now i haven't encountered any additional issues with spotlight but it looks like a lot of you guys continue to also report issues with spotlight and spotlight overlapping the graphics just not looking proper so this is to be expected hopefully we'll see this address with the next beta as well now one thing that you guys continue to report on is overheating of your iPhone. And I haven't encountered this issue myself, but some of you guys continue to report that when you plug your iPhone into charge, it would get overheated, extremely hot. And I have to say, this is something that, of course, Apple definitely needs to look into. You may also want to look into your battery health, make sure your battery is, uh, you know, good to go. You don't need a new battery on your iPhone, so make sure the battery health is good on your iPhone as well. But definitely something that I'm seeing more often, a lot of you guys continue to report on overheating, especially when charging using MagSafe in iOS 17. So yeah, something that definitely needs to be addressed here. Now in Safari, there's this weird bug. So take a look at some of these graphics on Amazon.com here, as you can see right there. I can go ahead here and see that the graphics there just look sort of weird in iOS 17. It also happens on Apple's website as well. So it's kind of interesting to see. You see the Vision Pro text sort of highlighted weirdly here. And we also see the Apple Watch logo is just sort of highlighted weird. There's something going on with Safari that isn't clicking right some of the graphics and even some images in social media just look weird and uh, pixelated for some reason so yeah some safari bugs are happening here as well and uh, you some of you guys continue to report issues with wallpapers so if you go into the wallpaper section and try to add a brand new wallpaper i have a bunch of lock screen setups here as you can see but if you try to add a new one a lot of you guys continue to report that the wallpaper menu doesn't pop up and when it does some of you guys say that the wallpaper just goes straight to a black background so no wall wallpaper is applied when you try to apply the wallpaper. Minor bug there, but something that I wanted to mention in case you were running into that issue. Now, the battery life, of course, this is beta software, so the battery isn't going to be the best. Now, I did mention that the battery is better than beta 1. Beta 2 improved on the battery, but there's a lot, a lot to go. Of course, the battery gets me through my entire day. I do use the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is a large battery, so I can get through my entire day, but it is in no way excellent battery life. In iOS 17 just yet so hopefully we'll see improvements to the battery in iOS 17 with the next beta 3 for iOS 17 and some minor issues that I've noticed in terms of share play and name drop the new features in iOS 17 have some you know graphics and animation issues that Apple hopefully will address with the next beta. Now I want to talk about some of the features we can expect and some of the wishlist features in iOS 17 developer beta 3. Now before we continue, I want to talk about today's sponsors, K-School and their brand new Cloud Kush cases. Take a look at these cases. All around the edges, we have this air cushion technology that absorbs shock. This is a cloud-like edge fill design that protects your iPhone and also looks good. It is available in various colors. I'm sure you've seen me use these cases over 
over the past couple of weeks. These are three meter military gray drop resistance. So you have nothing to worry about with these cases. They feel good, they look good, and of course they alleviate stress as well because the design feels great in your hand for texting, gaming, or browsing the internet. They have this really cool edge design that I really love and I think you guys are gonna really enjoy as well. Now they do have a testing campaign. So if you wanna learn more about Case Cool's brand new Cloud Kush cases, all the links will be of course in the description down below. So now let's go ahead and talk about some of the features we're hoping to see Apple add to iOS 17 with the next beta, beta three. Now I wanna start off with widgets. Apple has finally added interactive widgets to iOS 17 and with from beta one to beta two, we saw different sizes as well. So there's rumors that Apple could be adding additional interactions to some widgets and some applications on the iPhone. And I'm starting off with voice memos. Now it is a rumor that Apple could be adding a new voice memos widget to the home screen, which makes a ton of sense, right? You have the voice memos widget, you click it, you record your voice memo quickly, especially if you're a student, this will be very handy. And then you can pause or just end at your voice memo directly from the widget on the home screen. It makes a ton of sense to me. Now it's also rumored that Apple could be adding a translate platter widget to the home screen as well. So if you're traveling out and about and you need to translate, you can have that quickly, a quick access with a widget platter on the home screen. Now these are just rumors. These two widgets could be coming to the iPhone with the next beta three or maybe in the future here in iOS 17. Now a feature that Apple will most likely be adding soon is proof of age, the ability to scan your ID, your government issued ID into the wallet application of your iPhone and with a double click you can actually prove your age maybe if you're going out to a concert some venue or something like that so right there age over 21 in the ID photo I'm sure Apple will soon be adding this new feature I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to this one as well as I am so yeah it is rumored that Apple could be adding this feature within the next beta I'm definitely looking forward to this one as well now I want to shift my attention over to some of my wish list features and changes that I'm hoping Apple will make to iOS 7 before the official release and I want to start off with the lock screen as it sits right now in order to delete your lock screen you have to swipe up on this carousel one by one and in order to organize you have to swipe one by one wouldn't it be nice if Apple would just add a grid view this was rumored before iOS 17 was even announced that Apple was working on a grid view to organize and delete any of your lock screen setups I think it makes a ton of sense and this is one of my wish list features for the lock screen because it is sort of a nightmare mirror to just go one by one here in this carousel which looks very similar to the Apple Watch UI but yeah I think on the iPhone we can go with something a little larger like a grid view here and maybe even the ability to share your setup with others will be great as well. Now in the wallet application, it was rumored that Apple would have a redesign. This is what that redesign was thought to be. Hopefully we'll see these changes being added to iOS within the next couple of betas. Again, these are gonna be wish list features, not something that Apple has mentioned or anything like that. We also have the health application, which was rumored by reliable sources that these will get a redesign and this was sort of the concept, these two here. So hopefully we'll see additional changes to the health and the wallet application with iOS iOS 17 at beta 3 or beyond. I'm looking forward to that. And now let's talk about the expected release date for the next beta. So in order to predict when Apple could be releasing iOS 17 developer beta 3, we have to go backwards one year because that's the only information we have. Last year's iOS 16 schedule is the only reference I guess we can use to accurately predict to the best of our abilities when Apple will release the next beta. Now keep in mind, no one really knows exactly when Apple will release the next beta, but July is very important because that's when we see the first public beta as well so let's go back to 2022 july remember i was 16 and beta 3 was released on july the 6th so again july the 6th the third beta for iOS 16 was released last year and the first public beta was released on July the 11th with a re-release of iOS 16 developer beta 3. So we saw two updates the same day. Now let's go forward to this year on 2023, July again, a very important month here. July the 4th, we have of course the Independence Day, which is a federal holiday. I'm pretty sure I'm 100% sure Apple will not be releasing the third beta on July the 4th. My money is on July July the 5th. On July the 5th, we'll most likely see iOS 17 developer beta 3, and then a few days later, the first public beta on July the 10th, with most likely a re-release 
of developer beta 3. I know it's a little bit confusing, but yeah, developer and public beta have different schedules. So the first public beta will most likely happen July the 10th. Developer beta 3 will most likely happen on July the 5th. So stay tuned here to the channel. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated as into what's next with iOS 17. These were some of the changes we're hoping to see, some of the rumored features to be coming to the next update, and of course, release date and bug fixes that hopefully Apple will put in place within the next beta. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Hey guys and i'll see you guys on the next one peace